What's up guys, Dark Deli here, and today I want to have a little bit of a talk with you guys about like what's going on with the channel, because I know some people are probably wondering what is going on with the channel, and I want to answer one big question. Um, why am I playing different games? What games am I playing, and why am I not playing Breakpoint? I figured today I'd just hop in some American Truck Simulator that, and uh, have a chat with you guys, if that's okay. Uh, this is kind of the game I've been playing when I'm not quite sure what else to play, you know. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and see about what we're going to do is I'm just going to pick up a, a job here. We're going to do some driving and um, talk about breakpoint is one thing. I, I Like every video, I get questions, people asking me, when's the next breakpoint video? Why are you not playing breakpoint, you know, etc. Let's dismiss this trailer because this is simply not. Okay, I parked in the garage. Let's get set on a job here. All right, so breakpoint, breakpoint, breakpoint. I had a lot of fun with the game when it first came out. I really honestly did. I had a lot of fun with the game when it first came out. All right, so we got our trailer parked, and we are going. Sorry, guys. I am trying to multitask here. Oh, it's a lot harder, to actually, to play this game and talk than I thought it would be, to be quite honest. I had a lot of fun with the game when it first came out, and... Of course, I got the opportunity to go and play it several times before it, you know, it was properly released. And here's my problem with Breakpoint. The main thing I did in Wildlands was weapon testing. And I find weapon testing very, very hard to do in Breakpoint because all the weapons having... Look, I'm not super psyched about the gear leveling system, though I dealt with it. The weapons all having, like, different and randomized attributes. First of all, I, I can never be sure what each you know, attribute a weapon has, actually does. People say, oh, well, it does this, it does this. Well, people say the same thing in Wildlands, and I did a lot of videos testing and proving that the abilities don't always do what they say they do. So even if I did know exactly what every single ability did, okay, let's just wipe that and say that uh, it's hard to test weapons in Breakpoint, each of them having their own, you know, constituent values and whatnot. But that's not my beef with Breakpoint. My beef with Breakpoint simply comes in immersion, and we are stuck in gridlock here at a stop sign. Perfect time to talk. Immersion. Okay, so with Breakpoint, I just kind of want to have a chat with you guys while I play some Truck Simulator. I'll probably, play, probably be playing this game a lot more. You can't drive anywhere in the game, which really bugs me. You kind of really can't because the roads are incredibly inhospitable. I'm just going to cut in front of this car. He's just going to have to deal with it. Oh, but this is my waits for no man. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, guys. Um. Oh, really? How did I get jacked for that? Jesus. Okay. Look at this traffic. Wow, that's insane. Um. Wait, is this a stop sign or... I can't even see what I'm stopped at. I've never seen this much traffic in the game. They're making it hard for me. What's our speed limit here? 30. All right. You can't drive anywhere in Breakpoint. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. And you can't drive anywhere in Breakpoint because there's no GPS routing. And the roads are all so incredibly inhospitable. Even if you're driving a Sentinel car, they will fire on you immediately. You can't even sneak by them like you could in Wildlands. There's no GPS routing. There's few roads. Um, so there's no point in driving anywhere. So that leaves you either walking, teleporting, or flying everywhere. And for me, that really did quite a bit destroy the uh, immersion of the game because I, I couldn't get around like I was used to getting around, you know? And what's the other thing that really like... I, I really feel like I couldn't do the weapon testing. Driving anywhere is just pretty much out of the question. And you see, I did have a lot of fun with the game. I was honest when I first started playing. I was having so much fun. It just I burnt out really quick. And I think a lot of other people did too. It's like they tried to put a lot of division characteristics into it, as many people have noted, myself included. And it, and it doesn't need division aspects because there already is the division. So, right. But that's already been glaringly pointed out. The other thing is... For me, the game, whoopsie, became very repetitive. Repetitive as in, how many times have I crested a hill and seen the same two guys by the same motorbike in the middle of nowhere, or gone down the road and there's the same three sentinels by a truck on the side of the road? You know, how often, it's just like, it's almost like they just had a, had a two guy and a motorbike stamp and they just went crazy stamping the entire map. 
and it gets old. It's like, well, I can't think of anything to put here, so we'll just stamp another couple motorbikes and a couple of guys standing beside them. You know? And that, to me, that really did play a part in killing the immersion, as well as the fairly shallow storyline. Let's find it. Where are we picking this up at? Probably up here at the Walberts. Let's see. Let's find our trailer here. This game is fun. <laughs> I mean, well, but then again, you know, like I said, I had a lot from the breakpoint at first, too. I'm guessing we're picking up our trailer here. Look out, guys. Big truck coming through. I'm assuming this is where we're going. I assumed correctly. Okay. Yeah, the storyline, I just blazed through it so quick, and everything started to feel... Well, yeah, so repetitive. Just so incredibly repetitive. Now, so it seems like right now I'm really ragging pretty hard on Breakpoint, when I actually haven't played it in a couple months. I've been having fun playing a lot of other games, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. So much of Breakpoint simply, to me, felt so far removed from what I enjoyed so much in Wildlands. It really did. A lot of the immersion is gone for some reason. I mean, some of the reasons I named, you can't drive anywhere really. I don't know why, you know, they decided to make it that way. You know, but they did. And, oops, let's get an external view. Let's get this trailer out of here. And we're on our way to uh, Flagstaff, Arizona with this trailer. Also, the terrain is so, I think they went a bit too extreme with the terrain. This is something I've not addressed in any of my previous views on Breakpoint is, I think they went way, way too far with the terrain. There was, there's, there was literally, there was one uh, bivouac that I camped at. I spawned a vehicle at it, and then it spawned the vehicle at the bottom of a cliff. I literally had to base jump just to get to the vehicle. I mean, some of the terrain is just intraversible whatsoever. I don't know why they decided to make it that way. I just, uh, I couldn't, I could not wager a guess. All right, so when will the next Breakpoint video be? I don't know. Oopsie. I can guarantee you there will be one. I'm just not sure. Hey, let me, let's make this turn here. I'm not sure when that'll be because so many aspects of the game were not immersing when right here, as you can see, I'm playing a game which is incredibly immersive. You know, this game's incredibly immersive. Here, let's have a, let's have a stop at this. Okay, let's not have a stop at the stoplight. Um, what's our speed limit here? 30 miles an hour. There we go. Um, why is, yeah, you know, well, so I'm saying driving a truck around is more immersive than Breakpoint. Well, let's go on to other games. So recently there was a, there was a big sale on Steam for the winter holiday season, and it's over now. It was over January 2nd. But there were so many awesome games that were up for offer. Uh, this included, and I picked up, oh my god, I must have picked up like 10 or so games off of Steam. And I've been cycling through these. You see me play some of this. You see me play some of Kerbal Space Program. I, I got a lot of other games. I picked up a couple MMOs. I just picked up so much stuff that was cheap that I've been wanting to play that I probably shouldn't have. Am I, am I going to hit this guy? Let's hope not. But I need to turn here. Okay. I picked up a lot of games, some of which I haven't even installed yet, and I'm really looking forward to playing. Let's make this turn nice and easy. There we go. And uh, I, I guess I would like your guys' opinion. Now, as well, I've also, you know, had some personal issues, I guess you'd say, you know, kind of affecting the output on my channel. There's a lot of reasons the channel's been a little bit quiet lately, and I, I didn't want to leave today quiet. I didn't, I didn't want to go on yet another day without making a video. You know, I want, I want you guys to know, but I'm totally there for you and everything. It's just, eh. I mean, I actually thought, should I just keep making Wildlands videos? <laughs> you know, even though that game is dead and done, you know, it really is because they're focusing on a breakpoint. Maybe they'll focus on making Breakpoint more like the game it could be, you know? And we all, I don't, I did not want to go on a Breakpoint as long as I did. But that's basically why I'm not doing Breakpoint content. Now that we're on the highway, I can cruise and I can talk a little easier. Um, I made a video in Kerbal Space Program and I intend to make some more of those. But, uh... Well, there's a new, uh, the sequel, I know it's an old, old game. The sequel is actually coming out. Uh, is this, are they in a, wait, oh crap. I thought it was a detour and then it, I saw it said road work. 
shit. <laughs> this is what happens when you're not paying attention while you drive. Let's back up on the freeway. Real safe maneuver. Oh, this is not safe at all. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home, guys. Uh, what, what was I saying? I got distracted by a detour there. Yeah, Kerbal Space Program is old, but it's still fun, and they're coming out with a new one this year. So it might be a good time to get into that. If I could figure out, if I can get the hand, handle on like how to play it and such like that, this might be the perfect time for something like that. Have fun with that. Have fun with American Truck Simulator as I am at this very moment. This is a fun game. In addition, uh, what else? Oh yeah, Star Citizen. Star Citizen is a game I'm, I kind of want to keep an eye on for when it does get more and more features as the game develops. Star Citizen might be something I'm interested in because I've got, I, you know, I purchased that. I purchased a lot of games this holiday season, some of which you haven't seen yet. And I'm kind of feeling around, seeing what, seeing what I want to do. I know what you guys are going to say because you guys know me as testing rifles from Wildlands. And you want to see me, uh, you, want, you know, my take on Breakpoint content. I guess I gave a pretty decent, you know, what is my take on Breakpoint. My, my take on it is it was really super fun for a couple months. And then for me, the fun kind of plateaued because... Whoops, I just shifted into neutral on accident. That's what happened. There we go. Um, for me, the fun kind of plateaued because it started getting really repetitive. Like I said, that copy and paste, Sentinel with the bike, Sentinel with the truck on the side of the road as if they couldn't figure anything else to do. The dailies get really repetitive. The, I didn't mind the gear grind because it slows down so much when you get into higher levels. I, I haven't even played the game in a couple months. For all I know, they took the leveled gear out. I didn't really think it belonged there. I didn't have a problem with it. I went to get to the higher levels. It doesn't become an issue anyway. Guys, I can see this video is already becoming fairly long. I just wanted to explain, like, yeah, we're still making videos here. I've just been a bit dealing with some personal issues, some, some uh, you know, uh, some health-related, but it's uh, no big deal. It's kind of slowed my video output, and I feel like I've hit, like, uh, you know what it is? It's it's like when a rider gets, like, rider's block. And, yeah, I'm trying, <laughs> sorry, steering my truck with one hand while I talk here. Um, it's kind of like rider's block. It's like, crap, this game for me didn't pan out and didn't immerse me the way I wanted it to and now I have all these other games and it's like uh, I'm not an expert or, or anything on any of these you know so what can I do and I was like well I can just have fun and play them and that's what I'm doing with Kerbal Space Program I have another fun experiment coming up uh, which people have probably done before I'm sure the game's been out for long enough but I decided that I really wanted to um, did I just kill my no, I didn't um I decided I want to, well, you'll see my next uh, Kerbal Space Program experiment. That's really fun. I like simulation games. There's more simulation games coming, such as this Kerbal Space Program. I also bought Mud Runner. That looks really fun. It's got a lot of positive re reviews. Uh, I think it's fairly new on Steam, and it was on sale for the holiday season. It, I love off-roading. It looks like a great off-roading game. Guys, just give me your thoughts on whatever down in the comments below, or if you just have questions or any suggestions of what kind of content you want to see or anything like that. We still got a long drive ahead of us. It looks like it's estimating I still have 12 hours of driving. Of course, it's game time 12 hours of driving that's that's a good solid uh, 45 minutes probably of driving I have ahead of me here and it looks like we're gonna cut in front of this car and get around these guys all right guys thanks so much for watching I'm Dark Dally I'll catch you guys next time